they finally came. We've been uh, back and forth talking with Dynamic Auto Concepts, which is Specti's version of the import side of things. So Specti is now a sister, well, Dynamic is a sister company to Specti. So we ended up partnering up with Dynamic and we've got some new tail lights for Sally. And I have been dying to put these in. They just showed up, can't wait. So we're gonna break this down for you. Here they are in all their glory, all wrapped up. We're gonna get rid of the OEMs finally. We've been rocking OEM lights this whole time. Let's get to it. Okay, to start to get your tail lights out, you're just gonna pop out the trim and then you're gonna pull the carpets down. I think there's one pop rivet in each corner and then there's just the screws holding them in. So this guy. And we will use the draw C duck to be sure. Huh? And you got your big push tabs. One on each side. Oh, that one I'm gonna need the screwdriver. Screwdriver? Screwdriver. Come on. That little guy right, uh, right there. <coughs> He's got to pop the top off. The whole thing just popped up. There it is. Don't push them together, please. They're paying the butt to get apart. Okay. I'll take the camera there and I'll show you where all these screws are. So once you get in here, you have one, two, three, and I think there's one in the far corner. I will let you know as soon as I get in there. Get a 10, he says. Then he sends me back for an eight. An eight? An eight, yeah. Okay. One out. So once you get in here, there's gonna be a rubber grommet. I believe I seen in the back that the new ones had grommets on them already. And voila. One out. It looks so funny without taillights. <laughs> There's a big blank hole. Silver hole. I think the silver is what threw me off. The OG color. So you're going to have little covers just keeping the threads nice okay. so not on every g35 model but some of them have the the trunk release button right there 06 is one of those years but when you buy the light from Dynamic, it comes with the harness, but not the button. So you're gonna have to pull the button out of your old lights. It's just gonna be two screws. It's that guy right there. And then you pop it out and put it in right here. Okay. So once you get it all bolted back in, take your plug. Or make sure you're in the right light. Which I'm not. And you just clip it in. And you put all your plastics back. 
or your carpet, I guess, and peel the carpet. There's your comparison. Give you 0.5. I know what one I like better. What one do you like better? Leave it in the comments. So usually when you hit the key, the lights flash. Oh, it's the bottom one. So that's your signal. Let's see what it looks like when you turn the light on. Tell me if it does anything. Did it do the halo? It's doing it. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's the small things in life. <clears throat> Okay, okay, there's two. I'm gonna clean up the tools that I got laying in the trunk and then I'll shut the trunk and we can get like a visual. But to me, that looks so mean. Dynamic just killed the design on these. Like, we, I've been watching for taillights for the G for a long time and it's half the reason I've stuck with my OEMs. And then they dropped these roughly a year ago and then they were sold out left, right and center. You couldn't get them, couldn't get them, couldn't get them. And now that we have partnered with them, I finally got my hands on some and I am so stoked. They're even better in person than the pictures online. Highly recommended guys. So just in an effort to keep these nice, I'm gonna do the two year graphene ceramic coating by Adams. This stuff's super easy. Spray it onto your applicator. Wipe it on, it'll oil slick, and then you just wipe it off, and you're coated. Don't apply any water. For, what did they say? I think it was four hours. Yeah, allow to cure for four hours before exposing to any moisture or elements. So we can do that. It's not coming out in the next four hours. Probably not the next month, so. <laughs> I'm gonna do this so that no scuffs or anything happen and then we've got a completed install and I'm gonna wait for the Sun to go down and give you guys some nighttime shots where you can actually see the halo effect what, what? I'm way too excited about these I'm gonna burn them out before I can even drive the car